All right, so I'm back in the garden. I'm gonna do some bricklaying stuff today. So first, I'm gonna do a lime mix. I like to gauge my motor, so I'm just gonna use that for now. So what I'm gonna do is eight sand. flatten it off your hand but for some sort of my phone at the same time. It's quite hard. I'm gonna get one line. Mix it up with a trowel um, water. I like to use the whisk to be honest, just easier. So I'm just going to go and get that now and mix this up. Alright, so the whisk set up. Let's put a bit of water in it. sitting on this whistle so it's not too bad. Right, that's it done. Let's check if it's a consistency with trowel. Nice. So now We'll set the hooks up. This is where I'm going to be working. So I've drawn a line, I squared it off there because I don't want to work on the end of the board because it's going to be going on the floor, and that's all I've got. So, move that out of the way. so that's going to be our work area. So we'll set up the bricks to where we need them. So, your bricks, you want roughly, about them, between seven and eight hundred mil away from your wall. Because you don't want them too close because they're just going to get in your way and you don't want them too far because you're going to have to walk and get them. You just want them to hand. on the other side of here but I've only got I've only got them 
We've got a few more, but not many. We're in a great. So yeah, that's that. Um, so we'll get the mortar on the board and we'll start putting a few down. Alright, so we've got our mortar. It's a little bit sandy, but I don't want to put too too much lime in it. Because it goes dead lumpy, so I've got to use this again. So once you've got the mortar on the board, you need to be able to cut and roll it. So what we'll do, let's put a bit of there out of the way, a bit of room. You want to cut and then keep your shoulder and angle. Roll the mortar. You don't even really need to move your trowel when you're first starting. Off the board. Slight angle, back up. And then pick it up. Probably a little bit too much there, but go again. Put roll up and then at that point you wanna spread it. So when you get to the board, if you're gonna lay here in this particular area. You want to bring your trowel down and twist your wrist and pull back at the same time. Yeah. And then from there, follow it. Rip off any excess. Also, you can. big brick so that's what we're going to be working with so I'll set the phone up and we'll build a few brick on this line here a bit of a pyramid to start with and then we'll move on to one around the corner So I've wet the board a little bit because just put a bit of mortar down then and it's just drying instantly so I'll wet the board a little bit just so I can show you what I'm supposed to. Alright, so have your mortar, your brick. Push it into place, scrape the excess off. You want to level your first brick, level that, little tap on the front there now. Level that there. And once you've leveled it, check it for gauge, so that's 90 mil there, so that's that's right the gauge because the bricks bricks 80 mil quite a big brick that's your first brick down get your second one so put in your brick I what I normally do is I chuck it on 
two, three movements. Get it up to rubber brick, push it up to it, and then push it down into place. You've got a nice 10 mil joint. The next brick. Same again. Got that. One just rang me then so it spoiled it. Nice one. So you've got your bricks down, they're level. And you want to just range them through to make sure they're all touching the level. That one's coming away so it's twisting up a little bit. So I'm going to tap that over. That's nice. So your next course now, I usually do put a brick on end. And it just gives you the right space in them for when you're coming back. So in you go again. More up, brick. Put that down. Just look at the joint, make sure. Getting a nice 10 mil look down it, make sure you're not twisting. Rip all the excess off. Get your level on it. Gauge that. Yep. was a cavity wall and there's another skin at the back you don't want to like drop it into cavity level that off tap on that. level that up make sure they're running right again you don't really want to be when you're leveling you don't really want to be see people bashing the level like that you don't want to be doing that Give the, little, the brick a little tap. Realistically, with the metal part of your, your channel. So that's that plumbed up, gauged, level. Then you've got to do the next one. Just move that brick back. down it vertically so you can see whether the bricks are twisting or not on the on the back. Turn that up. Just push that away a little bit that's it there that done Iraq um, and you can move on to building corners cornering up and then running your string line off that either end I'll do that in another video all right so I'll join this now let's do your perps first not the best because obviously the bricks are just Naff, but you get the 
gist of it. The perps, your bed joints. Try not to push off this board. off that soon but just to get all bits of mortar off it, bits of uh, snots and stuff. That's it. So what I'll do is I'll take this one down, probably leave that bottom three in and do a corner as a panel on one end. So like if it was a doorway or window or something like that cheers for watching um i'll see you in the next one